When deciding whether to go on a trail ride, it can be helpful to look at the weather forecast. Wet or snowy weather can make the trails more difficult. You want to make sure the trail is still open. Some agencies close trails during bad weather. After you've decided to join a group of people for an organized trail ride, you'll want to be prepared. As a courtesy to the other drivers, be sure your truck is well maintained and ready for the trail. Parts sometimes break, but maintenance needs to be done at home or in a shop. Check to see if the event organizer or club has any requirements for gear. Even if they don't, you should carry basic tools. A simple first aid kit, a recovery strap and shackle, a fire extinguisher, toilet paper, a full tank of gas, and anything else you or your passengers want for your comfort and safety. Be on time or early. No one wants to wait for a straggler. Being on time is a sign of respect for the group. Show up a little early if you have questions or want to chat. If you have a CB radio, don't monopolize the CB channel. Let the trail leader and tail gunner talk when they need to. This is Cha Cha the Ice Cream Man. The tail is making the turn. As you drive, pay attention to the truck behind you. Are they lagging behind? If so, slow down. The drivers in front of you should do the same. This prevents gaps in the line and reduces the risk of losing people. Make sure the driver behind you sees any turns you make. If you don't see them, stop at the corner until they do see you. Take three tries at an obstacle, and then ask for help if you don't make it. This prevents delays and damage to your truck. Leave space on the trail in case a driver needs to back up or the truck slides back. Most people are comfortable driving on paved roads but have concerns about getting lost or stuck off-road. Keep in mind that when we say off-road, we really mean off-pavement. When we drive off-pavement, we generally are still on some type of dirt road or trail. Well-known trails can usually be found on websites. Local four-wheel drive clubs can also be a good source of information about what trails are legal or not, whether the trails are open or closed, and what their current condition is. Better maps for dirt roads and trails are becoming available. The U.S. Forest Service and BLM offer motor vehicle use maps, MVUMs. These maps cover all of the public roads and trails managed by these agencies. Next up, you have topographical maps, or topo maps, which are brought to you by the U.S. Geological Service. These maps offer a lot of detail, but were created 25 years ago or more. The roads and trails should still be accurate, but the surrounding landmarks may have changed. When all else fails, you can always resort to technology, since many GPS software maps show dirt roads these days. The issue with using GPS for navigation is not the device, but the base maps. They are often outdated or inaccurate. They are generally okay to use, but are not perfect. You'll enjoy your day on the trail if you are prepared, and so will the other drivers on the ride.